Thank you for taking time to talk to us today, Senator. We appreciate it. Uh, no matter what happens tonight, uh, you've made history. How do you feel about that? What sh what's your re reaction to all of it? Well, yeah, obviously, we, we're still campaigning, so you don't have as much time to reflect as you'd like. But uh, the one thing I'm really proud of is the way that our campaign has, I think, engaged a whole new generation of people who hadn't been involved in politics before. We've seen higher interest, higher turnout, uh, higher participation uh, than at any time since uh, probably the 60s, and maybe even before that. And that, I think, is really gratifying. People, I think, recognize we're at a historic moment. Uh, we've got two wars, the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. And in Nevada, foreclosure rates have been sky high. Uh, people are worried about losing their homes, losing their jobs, uh, the economy slowing. And, and I think they recognize we need to fundamentally uh, change course. And, and that's why I anticipate a uh, huge turnout uh, in Nevada. We've already seen records broken when it comes to early voting, but if people haven't yet voted, polls don't close until 7 p.m. If you're in line by 7 p.m., uh, you will be able to vote. And if people need to know where to go to vote, then we've got a number, 877-622-6268, uh, that people can call. And uh, I just hope everybody makes sure their voices are heard. Do you worry about the fact that there are long lines, especially, uh, you know, in some of the battleground states and that people will just get discouraged and go away or have to go back to work and not be able to vote? Well, that is something that I worry about. And I think whoever wins uh, needs to recognize that uh, we shouldn't design a voting system for minimum participation. We should design a voting system for maximum participation. Uh, Nevada actually did better than most. I think the way that Nevada organized its early vote having a lot of different locations in a lot of places that were convenient to voters uh, has made a really big difference. But there are still people out there who have not yet voted. If you're in line by 7 p.m., then you're going to be able to vote. And I hope people take advantage of it. I think it's probably easier to early vote here than any other place in the country. Maybe we'll be a model for the, for the future. Do, do you lose, did you lose any sleep last night thinking about, I missed something, I, I forgot something? You know, I, I, first of all, since uh, we didn't get back from a 100,000-person rally in uh, Manassas, Virginia, until 1 o'clock, uh, I didn't lose any sleep because uh, I was exhausted. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, looking back, I think that we really have done what we set out to do, which was to offer an agenda that is different from what we've seen over the last eight years, tax cuts for the middle class, uh, strategies to deal with this foreclosure crisis, make health care and college more affordable, end the war in Iraq in a responsible way. Uh, I, what I've presented is a fundamentally different approach to what's been going on in Washington uh, that's powered by ordinary people getting involved. And I, I think that offers a lot of promise. Uh, so I feel good about what we've done. Obviously, now it's time for the American people to speak. And uh, if people need to know where their polling place is, again, that number is 877 622 Six two six eight. Yeah, we also have it on our website. Uh, you got a hundred thousand people in Manassas last night. The mayor of Chicago says you might get a million people in Chicago tonight. Uh, that's got to make you pretty happy, doesn't it? Well, uh, you know, if if, uh, if we don't win, I'm not sure a million are going to show up <laughs> to uh, to help me uh, drown in my sorrow. But uh, I, I suspect that we're going to have uh, a, a pretty good turnout tonight. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. It almost it's almost Vegas weather, not quite, but, uh, but uh, you know, I've had a wonderful time visiting Nevada. Uh, I think the people there are extraordinarily hardworking, just wonderful people. Now it just, really just comes down to them, and, and I hope everybody makes sure to uh, turn out and vote and let your voice be heard. You've been here, I think, 20 times since uh, you started this a couple of years ago. Uh, if you win today, will you come back and see us? You bet. Uh, although I have to say, what happens with me in Vegas uh, doesn't stay in Vegas, so. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Senator, thank you very much. We'll obviously be watching as it, as it, as it comes in tonight. Thank you so much. Remember to vote, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you.